Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is April 18th, 2019. Um, took advantage of the day, the warm weather, and day off, and um, expecting a, our autumn, uh, autumn olive flow here to kick off really quickly. And I went ahead and snow groved all my hives. See there's two here, there's some more there. Um, so if you watch my other videos that I made last year explaining the snow grove process, um, they're pretty in depth. I know there's like a four part series. There's also another video on how to build your snow grow boards. But basically, what this is is a, um, a, a technique to prevent your hive from swarming on you while you're in the midst of the honey flow and it's during the, uh, during the brood buildup. So, what I've done is I've gone through all these boxes here. I'm not going to go through all the, the, the method of, of how to do it all, but I, there are some things I changed this year. Um, actually, talking to one of my bee mentors, Steve. Um, there, hey Steve, and uh, explaining more about the, the, the snow grow process and some of the things that I'm, I may have done and some of his critiques uh, of what I've done and basically I've modified a couple of things um, this year. <laughs> so I'm going to go a little bit, uh, discuss them and talk about them. I got a lot of bees flying on me because I mean I went to all these hives here and I got this hive, especially this one over here is like super aggressive and they're like really want to sting me. So let me get started here. So I went through each of these hives. They're really strong brood built up, really a lot of uh, a lot of brood frames in them. Um, went through them and like last year I talked about just pretty much reorienting, reorienting all 20 frames in the box, um, putting all the cat brood and all the, the honey frames, uh, all the, um, the eggs and larvae in the top box and putting a bunch of stuff in the bottom there and just trying to reorient. That's where I messed up and uh, that's one of the things that Steve corrected me on. So if you're going through your box, sorry, I'm sweating here. Um, go through your high body. See, I've got uh, roughly 14 colonies here at this location. Some colonies, as you may have, are weak, weaker colonies. Some may be starting off, maybe pulling some nukes and this and that. But this is the best time to augment your, uh, your weaker colonies um, to get the some of these nukes uh, build up a little bit faster and uh, give these queens plenty of room to lay. So here's what I've done. Uh, as you're fully aware, I had four dead out colonies this year, so we're talking four hives, four double deeps. Um, that's equivalent of 80 frames that I uh, see 20 frames per box, four for its 80 deep frames that I had from honey frames, pollen frames, um, drawn out uh, frames, um, and some of the frames I called out. But I had a lot of frames to reutilize here. <coughs> so this is the time there where I'm, I've gone through my frames. Um, I've called the bad ones, the old comb and uh, drone comb. I've already got rid of those things, reloaded them up from foundation. So these boxes here, in the top box, so I brought one my, my uh, deep high body, empty deep high body. I went through and I filled a whole top box um, with a lot of the, un, the, the, egg, the eggs, the larvae, and some of the full uh, the half frames of brood or some developing larvae. And then I had some other frames of really drawn out <laughs> um, cat brood frames. So I took the cat brood frames, uh, if I set them to the side, so oriented, re went through my whole hive there, set them to the side. So in the bottom, uh, the top, the, which will become the top of the snow grove there, is one frame of honey. You can put a, a frame of pollen up there, and all the uh, eggs and larva frames to fill out that top that top box there. Now in the bottom of the box, what do I put in there? I got a frame of honey. I got a frame of pollen in there. Um, you could put some cap, full cap root frames because they will hatch out and give the queen room to lay to relay some eggs in there. Uh, I also took and went took my drawn comb that I had. I might have put two or three combs of uh, the drawn comb that were from the dead colonies. I put them in there. I put a uh, foundation frame in there, you know, get them started off there, give them some room. Just keep them busy, help control the queen down there during this, uh, this process. Um, so, in the bottom box, now I have my frame of po my bottom box. I have one frame of uh, honey, frame of pollen, drawn out frames, a foundation frame, a couple of uh, brood frames, cap full cap brood frames to fill out that top the top, the bottom uh, ten frame there. So high base, bottom box, the drawn out comb. I take the queen that I've found her, make sure she's marked, and put her in the bottom box. And watch her; she goes into the bottom box in the center. I put my queen excluder on there. From my queen excluder, I put two honey supers on. I've got uh, a lot of my, I redid a lot of my honey supers today, this year, and I put uh, some drawn comb in the middle, 
and I put foundation, excuse me, foundation frames on the outside. Two boxes of that. So that'll give me, uh, that's where the, hopefully the bees will store all the honey inside of there. So, Queenie Slitter, two boxes of two honey supers. On top of the honey supers is where I put my Snellgrove board. From the Snellgrove board, as I explained last year and I explained this year, there's six entrances on there and there's one side that has no entrance. The side that has no entrance faces towards the front of the colony. So, over here, there's no entrance on that frame there. The two on the sides and two in the rear. So, on top of the Snellgrove frame, I put the, the box where I pulled all the cap. The, uh, the larvae, the eggs, and everything else, and set that on top of that, of the snuggler board. Inner cover is flipped over. Don't give them the entrance on top. The only entrance they have is on the side of the snuggler board and the lid brick. It's done. Uh, I had any excess frames of uh, larvae. Sorry, it's getting a little here. Uh, any cap brood frames, that's what I took there, and I augmented other colonies. That's one of the things that Steve told me, augment your other ones. I had two or three colonies here that are a little bit weaker. Guess what? I'm going to build them up a lot quicker. <laughs> and if they do really well and build up, I could probably put my supers on these and get my, what I call my secondary honey flow. I get my early flow with the uh, early, seed, early spring and when the clover comes out, and then I can put my put the honey supers and I get my, my second, uh, my honey store from there. That's what I do here. So that's it with the snow grove this year. Um, things to change out. Use your drawn-out frames. Give the queen plenty of room in the bottom box to lay extra eggs so she doesn't swarm out there. Um, on day one, I mean, on day seven, go ahead and use the, uh, from day one to seven, use the top top right entrance. On the, the afternoon of day seven, uh, close the top right, open the bottom right so the field, field bees come out and back into the bottom, and then open the, at that same time, open the top left. In the evening of day seven, uh, when the bees have all come back, close the bottom on the bottom right entrance. So now, from day seven to fourteen, they're only using the top left entrance of the snuggler board. On day uh, day fourteen, do the same thing in the afternoon. Close the entrance and uh, <coughs> close the close the top, open the bottom, and open the top rear. If they're making egg, uh, queens from eggs. Uh, you figure to 16 days they're going to hatch out so hopefully she's when she goes out for a mating flight the time she hatches out goes for a mating flight she's out to the rear of the hive and not coming into the to the front that's what works for me but I get a little antsy I want to see how many additional queen cells I got going in these things um, I ain't taking it from that one that one's mean uh, so around day 13 14 before then I'm actually got a ladder and I'm going through that top snugger box looking for the queen cells looking for additional uh, depends how many I have in that top box. I might want to leave two or three in there. If I got more than two or three, I'll take those and I'll put them in my uh, two-frame uh, queen mating nukes that I built new this year. Uh, thanks, uh, David from Barnyard Bees, for that idea. So I'm putting that in practice, and I've also got my queen castle if I need to utilize those. So that's what I do with my excess cells this year. Um, Hopefully I'll put some other additional videos of how we're going. Maybe when I do that inspection and, ch and see what the queen cells are, I'll set the camera up and we can see how that's going. But for here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get seven hives uh, snow groved right now. Um, I got a cut. I get a comb. Um, I'm gonna try my first hand cut comb. I got it on a hive over there. Um, I got my eight my eight frame hive over here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. Uh, it's a frame here and then <laughs> I've got my uh, my medium hive set up um, one thing I did with my medium hive set up this year is uh, I'm going to split that hive so what's the best way to get the queen to lay a lot more eggs and, and do her I actually took one of my my hive 20 that's hive 19 I took the box for hive 20 and stuck it in the middle of the stack and exchanged some frames out there so Right now, that queen's laying in all those frames there and everything else. So when time comes, I'm about to go uh, split that hive, and I'll make another video of splitting the medium hive setup, medium hive body. I'm already got a jump start there. I'm not having to pull too many frames. I've got there should be laying in all of them. I've got plenty of stores and all the frames, and I can do really a lot easier to manipulate that colony there. Pull what I want to make that start off that uh, that new uh, medium fry, the medium frame setup, and still pull a honey crop off of that hive there without doing uh, too much. That's never done it before. That's something new that I'm going to try this year, so we'll see how it's going to happen. Uh, I've got four nukes <laughs> over here. Go ahead and turn this thing. I'll walk over here. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got one, two, three, four nukes. Um, got to put, put feeders on these things. Uh, basically, pulled some frames out of all these hot, some of these stronger colonies earlier on, and built these out. And I'm going to let them make their own queens. I'm not going to add any additional queens to them, uh, and see how well they do with them. They fall, and about if they don't work out, which I hope they should, I'll go from the I'll uh, pull some queens from these the top of the snuggle boxes. Um, I'll talk to you about those frames right there in a second. These two frames, the two hives here, in the frame uh, hive nine and frame hive two. These are the overwintering nukes. Uh, this hive two here, this one here, is building up really strong, and I wouldn't put a second box is doing really well. Hive two was uh, so slowly building up, but I took advantage of the snow grub in the hives today, <laughs> and the additional uh, drone frame, uh, drone frames, the additional uh, cat brood frames, and augmented and built up this colony here. So that's going to build up a lot faster there. And like I said, this is my. Uh, Comb, uh, cut comb into my designation for there. So if you want to know, I think that's pretty cool. And about the stenciling, see that stencil there. And we'll go over here to the other ones, to the bees. If you like that idea, um, the bees stand for my honey supers that I'm going to extract. The comb is the cut comb. If you want that stencil, I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much I paid for it, but that's where I found it in the stencil pattern. So if you want one, that's where you get it from. Um, so to finish this off here, I'm going to talk about these frames here. Uh, these frames came out of that hive, uh, not the left there, that one right there next to it. Uh, earlier this year, didn't go right in the bottom box during inspection, so this time I went down there and checked everything out. One thing I do not like in my frames is drone comb. I despise drone comb. I don't need excess. The bees make enough drones. There's enough drones in there, and especially out of this hive, you'll see <laughs> what's going on here. So I pulled at least four frames of this comb out. Look at this. It's all drone, drone cell. Basically, that's Varroa. That's a Varroa hotel for the future. There, don't want it. This here, more drone comb, honey. I ain't worried about thinking rob that out. And more drone comb pollen. So basically, this frame, uh, if they if they hatched out, it's really not gonna do anything good for me for a honey frame. I'll put a, a new foundation frame in it and uh, start from there. This frame here, didn't care too much for it. It was from a cutout. Um, that was actually that hive came from a cutout from last year and don't like the comb we'll put a new foundation frame the bees can rob the honey out of this thing this frame here look at it more drone comb a lot of drone a lot of pollen uh, some really bad wonky comb um, that all the drone there don't care for it I'm gonna probably get a drone visiting on the camera and this one here a lot of pollen uh, that's all drone cells there drone cells there pollen well, it's not going to do me to drive. So uh, I went ahead and put some drone frames uh, that I had from the dead outs, and I'm going to utilize them in that colony. This thing here, I'll let the bees rob out this honey uh, if they so desire. If not, in about a few week or so, I'll cut the uh, comb out and wire them up in a new foundation. So that's it from the six acre farmstead uh, I wanted to just give you an update on the snow groving of the hives uh, what I've done this year if you have any questions please put them in the bottom I try to do a, a decent a, a decent uh, response time on those things when I, when I get to them I note them so if you want to go ahead and send uh, some of your questions there uh, just please just check if there's well, I may have commented to somebody else just check the comments to the to the prior videos there um, the snow grub methods work for me the guy who my mentor Steve, one of my mentors, I have a few mentors in my bee club, um, he's been doing this for many years. He actually bought some book from the the guy who developed the Snuggle program. Though I guess he had a book he was talking about from the 1930s. I might have to track it down and, and let you know about that and if I get a chance to read about it. Um, but that's it for today. Um, maybe the next video will be cutting into the, uh, the A-frame. i got some other ones in the banks and the books. Um, a new branding tool that I have, i got to get that video out to you. Um, my uh, feeders for my uh, queen mate, my uh, two frame queen, uh, um, many new boxes or whatever. Uh, I've got that video to get together for you too. But that's it for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And I uh, appreciate all you who are subscribing to get me to that thousand member uh, subscriber goal to start with. So I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.